Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I have a very pretty makeup tutorial for you guys. I have a pink rosy makeup look. Um, it's a very simple makeup look and it's perfect for the spring. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this makeup look, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by priming my face and I'm going ahead in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love this stuff, especially for the warm weather that's approaching. Um, it's a really good primer. Um, it holds on to your makeup. It makes sure it doesn't move. It's currently one of my go-to primers. Next, I'm going ahead in with my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. This is the rose water and green tea one. And this is just going to hydrate my face and give me a nice glow for the day. So next I'm jumping right into my color correcting routine. I'm grabbing my MAC Prep and Prime Color Correcting Stick in Peach Luster and um, my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Sand. So what I'm doing is I'm applying this product to the areas of my face that have um, kind of darkness or hyperpigmentation. And this is just going to help correct those areas um, before I go ahead in with foundation. And the reason why I like to go over top of the orange with concealer is just to make sure that everything is nice and evenly corrected and that the orange color corrector doesn't peek through when I go ahead in with foundation. So next I'm going to jump right into foundation and I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Natural Beige. So next I'm going to go ahead in with my Benefit Cabrow in the shade 04. This is what it looks like and I'm just going to go ahead in and fill in my brows. Ryan Little. <laughs> All right, so brows are done, and I'm gonna go ahead in and prime my eyes using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the Morphe James Charles uh, palette. So I'm going to be grabbing my Morphe M441 blending brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to be grabbing the shade Punch Me and I'm going to start working this into my crease. And what I'm doing is just with windshield wiper motions, I'm going from one end of the eye to the other end of the eye. I'm not smoking it outwards. I'm keeping it strictly onto the crease. So next I'm going in with my M4 Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to be grabbing the shade Mary and I'm just going to continue working this into the crease. And now I'm just going back in with my M441 brush and I'm just going to buff these two colors out. So 
So next I'm grabbing my Morphe M124 flat brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to be going ahead in with the color Shook. And I'm just gonna place this color on my eyelids. All right, so now that the color is on, I'm gonna go back in with the uh, Morphe M441 brush that I use to apply Punch Me, the neutral shade that I put on the crease. And I'm just going to um, buff out the edges, make sure everything looks nice and smooth. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade uh, Punch Me and a little bit of the shade Rose and I'm just going to use that and buff out the edges. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking a break from the eyes and I'm going to be working on the face. I'm going to be going ahead in with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is in the shade Light Medium Neutral 25N. This is what it looks like and I'm going to go ahead in and conceal my under eyes. And what I'm doing is I'm just using the concealer and I'm cleaning up the edges of the eyeshadow. So I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium sand and I'm going to be applying this onto my forehead and on my chin just to brighten a little bit. And to set everything, I'm going to be using my KKW Beauty Brightening Powder in the shade 03. So I like to set this everywhere that I concealed as well as around my mouth just to help brighten. So while everything's baking, I'm going to go ahead in and do my eyeliner and of course I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Don't mind this, this is just eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm happy with my dramatic winged liner. Now I'm going to go ahead in and wipe away the um, setting powder. So I'm just going to grab um, any big face brush and I'm just going to wipe this away. This is the um, Nabella Noor and Elf collection brush. I'm actually going to grab a smaller one from the collection. This one's just a little too big. I like the smaller one because I can really get in to like the curves of my face and make sure I wipe everything away. Okay, so now I'm just grabbing a pencil brush. This is one from my Sephora collection. 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the shade Rosy and I'm going to start smoking this, this color out onto my lower lash line. So next I'm going to be grabbing this big fluffy brush that I got um, from Target a long time ago. It's a Sonia Keshek brush and I'm going to be going ahead and grabbing the shade Boutique um, which is a very nice gorgeous dark mauve color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this onto the outer corners of my eyes just where the wing begins. I'm just going to darken up that area a bit. And it's okay if you get some on your eyeliner because we can always go back in and fix that up. So I'm just kind of adding a little bit more dimension to the eyes. And I'm going to be grabbing my Morphe um, East. E37 brush. It's a very small fine brush and I'm going to grab this shade Boutique as well and I'm going to put this onto my lower lash line but I'm going to concentrate it closer to the water line. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put some eyelashes off camera and some mascara and I will be right back. Alright, so the lashes that I used are the Valacia Foaming Lashes that I got from Amazon and for mascara I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational. So now I'm going to move on to my face. I'm going to go ahead and contour using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Okay, and for blush, I'm going to be using my Becca. Um, this is the Becca Luminous Blush in Snapdragon. This is very pigmented, so just be careful if you do buy this. Just take a little bit and um, make sure you blend it out onto your hand or something so it doesn't go on too harsh. is I'm using circular motions to apply this and then building it upwards as I go just to make my face look more slim. Now I'm going to go ahead and just apply some on my nose and just a little bit on the chin, like a very very slight bit and just a tiny bit on the forehead just to add some more color to the face. Now I'm going to go back in with bronzer and just just uh, define my face a bit more. And just take a little bit down the sides of your nose just to contour a bit. And I'm just going to blend that out with my hand. And for highlight, I'm using the Elf and the Bella Noir highlight in Nihayika Glow. And just on the nose and down the bridge of the nose. And Cupid's bow. And I'm going to put just a little bit below the lips as well. And what I'm going to do is just take my beauty blender and really blend this highlight into the skin. Just really press it into the skin. Alright, so I'm going to finish up and I'm going to be doing my lips. I'm going to be using the Elf and the Bella Noir um, lip liner. It's in my Renewed. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and line my lips with this. All 
All right, and for lipstick, I'm going to be using the NYX. Um, this is the Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss in this shade Sugar Mama. All right guys, so this is the final makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, if you guys wanna see more videos, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions on tutorials that you would like me to do, then make sure to comment down below and let me know. And of course, all the products that I used today will be listed down below in the description box. So make sure to check that out. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.